Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a good start to your week. I say start to your week, it's Wednesday. Honestly guys, I don't know what day it is anymore. I thought it was Thursday for the past two days and I'm like, it's only Wednesday. <laughs> At least I've gained a day, I guess. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, today we're working on a, another custom made build. Um, I'm taking a build request now. If you want to know more about that, it's on my Instagram at LauraAbbeyX and let me know in the comment section if you would like a custom made build. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing this week, which has been great fun because it's learning completely different styles and it's something that I really need to challenge myself to do more because, well, you know me, I stick to my suburban craftsman homes. I can never write the word craftsman. Why? I don't know. My brain just can't function trying to write the word crafts. I, why? I have no idea. <laughs> really annoys me. Every time I go and write it, it's like, it just doesn't happen. Um, but anyway, I'm now making this um, base game home, which was a bit of a struggle because I am not that used to doing base game interior so before I started YouTube and any socials for sims whatsoever I used to make base game exteriors and like a you know a shell without the interior but I'd include the like floor plan and as such um, but I haven't really done much of the interior as base game so when I started doing that I was like mm, I'm not really used to doing this so it does take a bit longer I think you like when you've got your own little style you're kind of used to doing a certain style or design or you have items you use all the time and then but you haven't got the pack to like oh <laughs> a bit of a struggle but it was fun and I enjoyed doing it um, but yeah, I used to always make um, base game shells and it kind of taught me to build, I think. Like, um, I get a lot of people messaging me saying, oh, you're really talented, how do you do this? I'm like, it takes a long time. <laughs> you know, it's not just something I was naturally good at. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am good at designing naturally because my mum is a really good designer. Um, so it's kind of just, you know, naturally a part of who I am. But I think in Sims, it's a lot of trial and error and you've got to find your own style and you've got to like you know try a few different things before you work out what works for you um but yeah i did spend a lot of time working on base game shells so i kind of got more used to doing the exterior of homes so i do like the interior but my favorite part is doing the outside which is great because most people don't like that part so i can help them out with it <laughs> Um, so yes, that's what we're working on today. This is a custom made build, as I said, for another Simmer. Um, she has sent me the floor plan and the... Actually, she didn't send me a floor plan. Um, I sent her this image of this home and she really loved it. So that's what we're doing today. Um, there are pictures on my Instagram of the official photos. If you do want to go and see that as well, the home that I followed for the exterior. Um, yes, and there's a... Um, pinned post on there about my custom build so be sure to check that out if you do want something made yourself um it's kind of first come first serve so it's um whoever like you know gets in line first gets their build done first but i'll get through all of them it just it might take longer if i've got some ahead of yours if you get what i mean hope you understand <laughs> um but yes that's what we're working on um i really like the style of home i don't do it enough and it was quite a big house but I love big homes so it was fine but I was a bit concerned because it was base game and I was like huh, I'm not too used to doing the inside as base game but I think it worked out nicely I much prefer the um, upstairs to the downstairs personally I think making base game bedrooms is easier than like lounges and kitchens personally everyone's different but for me I think bedrooms are easier um, but yeah I did really enjoy this build. It took quite a while to make, probably like four hours, maybe three, four hours, um, which is quite a long time for me. Um, but yeah, I really like it. So yes, that is what we're doing. We're just adding in the floor plan on the inside and we do build all of these live on Twitch. So if you guys do a custom build, you do get to input live as well on your preferences of what you prefer. So that's been nice having like a new range of simmers come to my Twitch and to chit chat and hang out and you know, teach each other things the other person might not know. So I really like doing that element of it as well. 
I really need to start posting more on YouTube. Honestly, I'm getting so caught up in other socials at the minute because I'm working on my um, save file with about 45 to 50 other simmers on Instagram and um, managing Twitch and filming all of the custom builds and then also YouTube as well, of course. And um, I do record most of everything I build, so I have got videos like ready to go up. It's just finding the time to do voiceovers is the problem because my editing software, side rant, <laughs> whenever I um, edit a video but don't finish it and leave it unfinished, you know, like halfway through what I'm doing, whenever I go back into it, it usually glitches. So I have to like edit on the day of posting or at least in like preparation of posting. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's kind of stressful. <laughs> It just, it takes a lot of time and a lot of managing your time and sometimes that's difficult. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's just a bit, well, I don't know what the word is. Stressful. <laughs> um, it's fun, but stressful. Um, but yeah, I am more active on Instagram lately, which I've been enjoying. And I've got a lovely group of people over there, so if you guys do want to come and hang out over there, be sure to. Also at Laura Abbey X. Um, I do post all of the pictures of my builds over there, and I post my story more often than I do um, make actual posts. But I've been doing reels lately, guys, and I actually really enjoy them. Um, I've been making reels of my save file, um, and we'll be getting more like teaser trailers or trailer teasers I always write it the wrong way around I always go to write it I'm like oh my gosh what did I write on the last one um but yeah I'll be doing more of those because I've put about three out so far I need to do um another one for Sansa Choir because we are redoing um Windenburg and Sansa Choir so it's growing together and get together um, packs we are using every single pack if they want to, there's no um, like restrictions because I kind of want it just to be like as creative as possible. Um, I will be making the save file on the 1st of August or the 31st of July probably. Um, so it will be available to download, but I just need to work out how to do that because I'm not that tech savvy yet, but we will get there. <laughs> um, it's another string to my bow as my mum would say. Um, it's definitely a learning curve, all of this technology. I think um, I was always a bit like nervous to learn how to do all of this because I thought I wouldn't be able to do it. But I think once you start doing it, you realize it's not as bad as you think. She says, I haven't actually attempted to do the safe file yet, but I'm sure it won't be too bad. Um, but yeah, I am really looking forward to learning more. And it's all a journey. And I've nearly been doing this for an entire year now, guys, which is absolutely crazy. My official anniversary of YouTube is the 1st of August, hence why the save file is out on that day. Um, but yeah, it's been a really exciting journey. And it's something that I'm really proud that I've made myself. You know, it's kind of like my own little, little world that I've created, my own little mini business. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's been like the best distraction and the best, um, well, I don't really know what the word is, but it's just made my life a lot better, really. And um, it's definitely been a lot more downfalls lately than there were in the beginning, but I think that just comes with being more known and posting more often and other people's opinions, but it's all part of the process. And, you know, I think as long as you like learn to manage that, then it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, I really do enjoy it. And if you guys are thinking about starting YouTube or um, wanting to get to build more often, I definitely encourage you to. Um, but make sure it's something that you want to do. Don't do it just because, you know, someone else is doing it or you never do it for money. Monetary purposes, never do it for that. Because it's certainly not worth it monetary purpose wise. <laughs> it's more of like a hobby that you hope gets you somewhere at some point. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's just what it is. Um, I never do anything I do for monetary purposes, um, but obviously that is a bonus if you can make money from it because, I mean, making money from something you love is kind of the goal for everyone, surely, but it should never be your, like, ultimate goal. Um, I think with all of this, people do get a bit, well, I don't know what the word is, 
I should really think before I speak sometimes. Well, not think before I speak, because I haven't said anything, but you know what I mean? I get confused with what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I say this all the time. I'm talking to my fiance and I'm like, I know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but I don't know how to word it because I'm really tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's just knowing what you want out of it. And I think some people get a bit, well, annoyed at you sometimes, thinking that you're doing it for the wrong reasons or that you're trying to like, I don't know, swizz people for stuff, which isn't nice because, you know, that's not the goal at all. <laughs> um, it's just something that I absolutely love more than anything is designing. And obviously I'm a simmer at heart. So being able to do both is like the dream. And me, Miss Particular OCD, having to have everything correct. <laughs> it's like therapeutic to do Sims and have everything just so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely adore the Sims, honestly. I'm so excited for the new pack. I cannot wait. I'm so getting it the second it comes out. <laughs> I will be doing a um, ranch build on my YouTube soon, um, at some point next week, because I'm not here this weekend. I'm not at my computer. Um, I'm going home, home to see my parents and my gorgeous cat Marvin. Um, but yeah, I'll be back on Monday. Um, and then all the next week is raining here in um, Wales. So, yay, <laughs> it'll just be a cosy week of building and hopefully some gameplay. I played for like half an hour last night, guys, because I was like, I really need a break from building because I do it so often. Don't get me wrong, that's my favorite thing, but I think you need to have a little bit of a, a break from it sometimes, otherwise you get, not necessarily builder's block, because I always really know what I'm doing, but you just get a bit, it's a bit mind numbing after a while doing the same thing over and over, so we got to, break up your time a bit but whenever I play I'm just like mm, but that needs to be moved and I could build a house for them and they should do this I'm like I can't I'm just a builder at heart <laughs> I can't help it I just that's what I love um, but yeah um, back to the build <laughs> me ranting on um this home is a 100 baby home so that is why there's a lot of beds <laughs> um it was quite difficult to make it was base game personally because I'm so not used to it as I said in the beginning but I really enjoyed it and it's like nice pushing your like skill boundaries more because then you're like oh I actually can do this or maybe I should try this so I think when you do base game builds you really have to get creative because you are limited I mean don't get me wrong there's still a lot of options but when you've got like all the packs and then you go to base game you're like oh my gosh what about this item? And it doesn't exist, obviously. <laughs> um, so you gotta try and think of new ways to make it look cluttered and look like what you envisage it to be. Um, I do quite like using pillars and such to try and make things look a bit more intricate. Um, but, you know, it depends on the build. But I really did enjoy this build. It did take quite a while, longer than I anticipated. And the garden is huge, but I do really like it. Um, I try to use quite a bit of debug as well. I tend not to um, venture through debug too much because it is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on in there. Um, but I did find some vegetables and such to put in the garden. And I've made little zones in the garden, which you'll see in a moment. Um, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to push myself to um, get a bit better at doing the back gardens because I'm quite all right at the front of the houses. But when it comes to the back gardens, I'm like trying to get it done quickly and I don't like that. I realise that I do that and I really don't like that because it shouldn't just be disregarded just because you can't see it from the gallery point of view, you know? So I've been trying to make it as nice as possible. So I've definitely been doing that more lately, which is nice, but it's something I need to work on for myself. Um, but yeah, I did do a really fancy garden the other day though. It was like split level and ponds and um, like a shed area and planter boxes and like a slope up overlooking a pond so you know getting a bit better and <laughs> forcing myself to get a bit better but yeah um but yeah that's all really um i am going to end the voiceover here there's only about well five minutes left of the speed build but it's mostly the garden um that i've kind of explained already <laughs> that i just need to venture more into being a bit more technical with my designs but I really hope you guys enjoy it because I like it very much 
and yeah if you guys do have any custom build requests be sure to check my instagram post at laura abby x and message me on my instagram and my dms and i will get back to you as soon as possible i wish you all the most wonderful week i hope you're all happy and well and if any of you ever need someone to chat to i'm here contact me again through my instagram because that's where it's most easy to um access my like personal messages so yes I appreciate you all so so much and I'm so grateful for such a lovely community. I will probably see you guys tomorrow. I'll be live on Twitch later tonight if you do want to come and hang out. Um, but if not, I'll probably be back tomorrow, hopefully, with another build because I've got a lot to edit. So we shall see. But yes, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Let me show you the best of my world Hold me tight Making memories, let's do this together Flying high Only me and you, girl I want you by my side I want you by my side So won't you come on out with me Forever young and free So won't you come on there's no place I'd rather be Together we'll escape deep into the night Just do whatever that feels alright So won't you come on out with me So won't you come on out with me So please come on out Yeah, So won't you come on out now, baby, please Now won't you come on out with me Like, but I just don't seem to like what's new to me Now I'm no one's man And these streets that I've been walking They make me feel like nothing I tell my friends it's here where we begin I say I'm better than I've ever been It's like an inner roots that's caving in I've never been this messed up
I'll be back on my feet by the winter I hope it feels like you want it Don't like it as a free man This bird